Monsignor Octavo joins Metamorphosis. Librarian is now preeminent manifesto scholar. I met the librarian this morning. He's a sweet man with his heart sewn directly onto his adorable little lapel. And I do so admire his passion for literature. In a former life, I would swoon over a well-read man. But I hope for his sake, he learns to bury that part of himself. In here, following your passion is the shortest road to recalibration. Three nine zero H. You must hurry along now. The rest of your class is already inside. Why does he hold those books away from us, Senor Octavo? It is the headmaster's belief that those books sully the minds of pre cows and should therefore be removed from our curriculum. But that isn't what you believe, is it? Books like these do not paint a rosy picture of the world. But they are not meant to. They are not paintings of the world we want. They are mirrors, reflecting the world we have. Why 390H? I see you're admiring our latest installation. Thanks for getting me out of there. I don't know what that Prisrak's intentions were, but I'm glad we didn't stick around to find out. What's yours is mine. Salinger, amateur sculptor of teenage angst. In Marquez would have you believe he's a prophet? A man possessing otherworldly insight and... Make a wish. But don't tell me what it is or it won't come... Zager's silence deafening. The notorious terrorist is... The situation is clear. Yours is mine. Good luck surviving in this meditative space strategy game, which takes basic RTS building mechanics and wraps it together with a pleasing minimalistic visual design. Oh and good luck pronouncing its title. If I had access to Wikipedia, I could have saved myself from asking a fellow Prizrak and Swedish native what rim capsule means. He said it means, space capsule. He then reported me immediately to Derringer. Ah, yes. Iron Rand, the bulldozer. Be careful. The Prizrak in this part of the facility are unpredictable in their rounds. You never know where they might turn up.
sound shapes is mesmerizing fusion of platforming visuals and hip music is super cool. But its true value is revealed when you want to impress the people around you. Load this baby up, act like you don't care about anything and shrug a lot. You'll then be the coolest cat in the room, guaranteed. Let's see what he's carrying. I got something. Part 2 of that game company's journey towards realizing its vision for socially conscious player narratives. In Flower, we embody the wind guiding a single petal through stunning landscapes. These moments of being one with nature are further punctuated by the drab urban home the player inhabits. The librarian's portrait has been taken down. I hope this is only a symbolic gesture. It's the right thing to do. Librarian okay's decision to protect precals from literary rot. Ellison, who lets his nameless protagonist vacillate between- I'll hold on to this. This may come in handy. Illustrating in pointless detail one's sexual perversion does not make for good writing. Prophet infiltrates metamorphosis. Masquerading as Prizrak, man brings toxic agenda to our perfect garden. The man's name is Zager, I believe. The first draft rumbled from my mind and shook the page like a 9.0 earthquake. The pen was merely the needle on the seismograph, recording the shockwaves. What's yours is mine. Salman Rushdie is about as much an idiot as Pasternak, particularly when he waxes political in Midnight's Children. Everyone wants freedom from empire until they must deal with the doler of life without empire. His liberation of India is a distorted... What was meant as a warning to Prizrak to be on the lookout for hiding precals is actually a good suggestion for the girl. Ducking behind the plant is a great way to escape detection. Remind the girl to walk slowly. Hurried footsteps will attract the attention of the Prizrak. This looks like an old cassette tape. You may find this difficult to believe, but I am actually old enough to remember when these were popular. Headmaster! Headmaster, over here! If it isn't my 
my favorite journalist from the morning bell. Hello, librarian. Good evening, overseer. Around the precals, I must insist you address me as headmaster. Oh. All's quiet here. I found a cassette. As you can imagine, my job here in Metamorphosis can be pretty stressful. Whenever I need to zone out, I engage my brain with Kami, which is a clever and charming puzzle game. Kami is Japanese for paper. Kami is also Japanese for God. Why do I feel closer to God when I play time-wasting puzzle games? I sure do lead a dynamite life. Got it. British humor was hard for me to follow, but thanks to our multicultural workforce here in Metamorphosis, I'm finally able to wrap my head around the minimalist charm of Thomas was alone. With themes as universal as friendship and freedom, this spectacular puzzle platformer has broad appeal. Danny Wallace's narration really brings the characters to life, and is a source of inspiration for my future career in voice acting. Why, librarian, you look like you've seen a ghost. I see many ghosts on these walls. Why would you take pictures with monsters and worse, display them proudly? I have sat for pictures with many important people, even people I find disagreeable. I suspect you mean me. I've been this way before. We're getting closer to the headmaster's office. Hmm. Kafka's Metamorphosis. Best to keep using the German title, Diva van Lung. We cannot risk cross-contaminating the name of our grand experiment with this simplistic trash. I'll hold on to this. Going in for the other clothes, going in to pick his pockets. Got it. Mir Mooney P takes me back in a big way. Back before the internet and FAQs, when we used to get stuck, we invested time into the game systems enough to make the incomprehensible become familiar. Eventually, it all made sense. The payoff was worth it. Mir Moon EP wraps that nostalgic sentiment in a gorgeous package, if you can embrace the challenge. An old Zager cassette.
If the battery on the girl's phone runs low, she need only find her way to a confinement room. Ideally, she'll visit them on her own free will, and not with a Prizrak escort. We owe a debt of gratitude to those giants whose shoulders we've stood upon. The earlier they lived, the larger their stature, and so the greater our debt. His detractors would call him an opportunist, and they would be right. But Yataro Iwasaki was given nothing less than the modest opportunity to bring an entire nation into the modern age, and he succeeded. The nerve of him. A personal favorite. For those who would criticize him for his monopolistic tendencies in the early 20th century, I say, shout it from the rooftops, or barring that, hop online and voice your disdain in a chat forum. He would appreciate the irony. Plato's keen eyes peered further into the future than any of his Grecian contemporaries. He was, and will remain, the most vocal supporter of the classic Republic, and its earliest. While the Twenties roared in America, they screamed like a Siberian windstorm in Vladimir's hometown of Simbirsk. A controversial man of the people, he was, surely. And the fact that he spent time in political exile makes him that much more admirable, in my estimation. Her death in 1952 was a tragedy, not just for the Argentine shirtless who idolized her, but for the anti-Peronists who celebrated her demise. Christ had a similarly divided populace to contend with, and like Eva, succumbed to sacrifice at the age of 33. The father of Europe was besieged from all sides by pagan tyranny. And then in the year 800, he did a most remarkable thing. He held the hands of secularism and religion and married them together in what would later be called the Renaissance. It is difficult to write a story as it unfolds, but to wait until it's finished is to risk butchering the telling of it. I would rather strain the wrists of those taking my dictation than cause even a modicum of butchery. See what he's carrying. Got it. I flock to Metroidvania games like a bee to honey. I just didn't expect to play one soaked in Mexican folklore. In Guacamole, you play as a luchador who must fight through death to rescue El President his daughter. While the premise is silly, it's clear that the developers at Drinkbox took their jobs seriously. Deep combat, epic boss battles, couch co-op. Guacamole is the whole enchilada. Just don't forget to get the Super Turbo Championship Edition.
The overseer runs this library like a wild animal preserve. Look, but don't touch. Going into Pika's pockets. I got something. A retro styling of the horror genre. You wake up in a strange house with no memory of how you got there. More troubling, you quickly discover a dead body nearby, and clues in the room seem to implicate you. The end is rather controversial, but I thought it was excellent. A word of warning. Home is scary, so keep a change of pants nearby. Sputnik, sweetheart, and its protagonist, K. A dutiful man who accepts his place in the pecking order. you're talking about. Maybe you've heard of us. Our contractors get paid twice as much to take twice as long. Unbelievable. Right this way, sir. Watch your step. It's an historic night. Looks like a Soviet made Tokarev service pistol. I don't believe Miri saw him slip that gun from the drawer. Gentlemen, I wish to resign. This is grossly inappropriate. <laughs> inappropriate. You are burning books. I have seen it with my own eyes. The books I procured for you. Each book has been scanned into our servers and is now part of our digital catalog. You are merely hung up on nostalgia. You are erasing history. These books are my property now. I can do with them as I please. No, 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 no. I, I cannot be a party to this. I wish to leave immediately. First you want to resign, now you want to leave? I assume the implication was apparent. You're not going anywhere. You cannot keep me here against my will. In fact, I can. You, like the books, are now property of the... You just acquired a fingerprint from that glass. Normally, the overseer wouldn't be so careless as to leave a usable print. But recently, in celebration of Zager's capture, the big man poured himself a stiff drink, and for a moment, let his guard down. Those pristine white gloves came off, and he was one of us for a day. Librarian, may I come in? Ah, Headmaster, welcome. Master faces swift reprimand. Murray Prideaux found with contraband. Overseer, none of us are above the law. Dear Senor Octavo, 
Thank you so very much for giving me a copy of Labyrinths by Borgia. I've got my post secure. I'm a little relieved you... Pain is best read as a comedian librarian. For pain, constitutions come from rights, charters create chaos, and... We're gonna get in trouble, Weep. No, we're not. He would never turn us over to Mireille. He might if he caught us smoking his cigarettes. <coughs> Don't drag on it so long. How do you know about this stuff? I read a book. One of Senor Octavo's books? No, it was the manifesto. He has a whole chapter dedicated to smoking. <laughs> You're making fun of me. <coughs> What the hell's up with that bird? Reporting. An old Zager cassette. Sadly, overt fascism continues unchecked in many parts of the world. As a journalist, Xavier covered atrocities like this one before he ever snuck inside Metamorphosis. These stories only further fuel... Xavier was busy designing his own manifesto. Not to be outdone by the overseer, our man Xavier had printed his own first edition before his untimely death. I guess Zager didn't appreciate the owl gift. Holy 1990s. It's an old cardboard standee. Just a nostalgia keepsake from one of the overseer's bookstore signings. I don't know where Zager found this life-sized embarrassment, but it appears he was using it for target practice. Senior Octavo. Shh, shh, shh. Un momento. Go ahead, 933W. You can't stay here. I'm too old to be tilting at windmills. A caterwaul for pulp and glue fetishists. Those bleeding hearts decry book burning, yet fail to crawl. This looks like an old cassette tape. You may find this difficult to believe, but I am actually old enough to remember when these were popular. I remember seeing an old boombox. It's been a long time since I allowed someone to speak to me this way, librarian. I will not shy away from telling you what I see. 